We got the Sticky Mickeys back out. You guys already know, we're going racing. There is a race event. It's like import versus domestic something. It's at a track, a local, it's like 40 minutes away. So we're gonna put the car in full race. And I thought about what would be a perfect video is seeing how much weight we can actually take out of my car. I don't really like to do stuff like this, but we're going to. First thing we have is my scale. Scale works 100%, just recalibrated it. She's ready to see the measurements. We are going to take some stuff or as much as I can take out of this car. So granted, we are not gonna go full, full race car. Um, the seats, this one seat mainly is coming out. Maybe the rear seat delete panels and whatever else we have in the trunk. Probably the sub too. The sub is definitely gonna come out today. I really don't think anything else in here is heavy. Um, it's mainly the sub and the seats. I do have a Kirky seat. Um, I've been trying to find one. I mean, I don't have one. I've been looking for one so I could put in this car. Something nice, I kind of want the red like seat covering over it, but I want a Kirky or a carbon fiber seat. So we're just gonna see the car in full race spec of pretty much as close as I can get as to full race. Seat delete, one seat delete, sub delete, and throwing the welds on. So we're gonna measure the difference of how much these weigh versus the welds and how much the seat weighs and the sub weighs. And I'm gonna be holding everything, standing on the scale and getting a full weight. I'm hoping after everything is said and done to lose 150 to 200 pounds, that is the goal. I know the driver's seat or the passenger seat with heated and cooled options about 60 to 65. The sub is at least probably another 20 to 30. And if I save another 15 pounds per wheel, these Rohanas are forged, so they're pretty heavy. And the welds, they're a lot, uh, trust me, a lot lighter. So I don't know, it's gonna be close, maybe 100, 115, 120 pounds. We're gonna see, we're gonna add everything up. I got a, pe a piece of pen and paper ready to go. So let's start ripping some stuff out of the car. First, I'm probably gonna throw the welds on. Hopefully, the 10 speed and the Cobra Jet will be putting enough work to keep us ahead just in the quarter mile. Never ran this car in the quarter mile. We only ran it in the eighth at that dig event. So we're gonna see what she can do. I pray to baby Jesus we can get low 10s, mid 10s. I don't know, I have no idea what this car is gonna do. I beat some pretty fast cars in this car. So if I hook up and I get a good 60 foot, I think this car could probably do like a 1.7 or 1.6 60 foot stock with a stock converter, stock trans. I think that's what they relatively do 99% of the time as they sit. But we're gonna see. So let's jump into today's video. Let's get these wheels on, get that weight difference uh, measured out, and then we'll start working on the interior, get the seat, the sub out, and we'll see what we got today. Let's throw the weld up on the scale, see what she weighs in at. I already did this by myself without camera and it was 51 on the dot. Okay, so now it's reading 51.2. Let's write that down and we're gonna take off one of the Rohanas and see what she weighs. Got the welds on both sides. So the welds, or sorry, welds weighed 51 pounds. 51 pounds, let's, let's get the Rohanas on there, Gweet, and see what these bad boys weigh. I'm guessing in the 60s, they're heavy, they're forged. Um, it's, it's got a brand new tire on them, so we're gonna see. 63.4. Not too bad, but, so these both weigh 63 pounds each. Gotta do some math real quick. So the welds weighed in at 51 pounds, like I was saying. Both Rahanas were 63.4 something, so pretty much that equals 126. 126 minus 102, which equals both welds, wheels, and tires. Um, we saved a total of 24 pounds, just wheels alone. So I'm gonna write that down and then we're gonna take out the seat and speaker and then add them all up and see what we officially get to. Three bolts, one, two, three. We're gonna have to pull it out just a little bit and reach our hand behind the back. There's one wire, I'm almost positive, that holds it together. It wasn't crazy hard to take in and out, I remember that. And we're gonna throw that on the scale also. I don't know if it's gonna sit properly on the scale, so I'm gonna have to probably get on the scale while I'm holding it and then just do the math that way. So let's jump and uh, rip this out real quick and see what it weighs. Speaker's out, the bolt was there, 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 and just this plug right here. There's a clip on the back. Super simple, just squeeze it, slides right out. So I'm gonna go jump on the scale, see, so you can guys can see how much I weigh. Actually, I'm holding the camera. Let me set the camera down and just pick it up real quick. 217.2, let's just say 217 because my shoes and everything, so. Then we're gonna grab the speaker and we're gonna see how much more it weighs. We'll just do the adding and subtracting. You guys know what I'm doing. 227.00, so 9.8 pounds 
to the dot, let's just say 10. That is a solid number. I thought it was actually gonna be more. So, so far, we're at a total of 34 pounds. The next thing we're gonna do is work on taking out my passenger seat. A lot of you guys might think it's pretty hard. It is actually not. We did it to Colin's car last video. Super simple. I always thought it was gonna be difficult just because it's powered, it's got all this stuff. Actually, Colin's was powered, but his didn't have anything. So, pretty sure it's just the same. Pull the plastic tab up here, there, unscrew the bolt, both sides obviously, slide it all the way back forward, and do the same for the rear. Put your hand underneath, undo the clip, and see it comes out. Safe to say, we're in early phases of building a race car. My car's probably like, if it was like a transformer, it'd be like, what the fuck are you doing to me? God, it fell out. A little hard to film and do this, but you know, I'm gonna get this done for y'all. Someone please drop a comment. Let me know if they have an S550. If if they find freaking Ford's tape everywhere. Like, I'm just looking. I'm laying around under here looking at my amber light. I'm like, wow, that's a nice blue. And then this is fucking piece of tape is just hanging right there in my face. And I'm like, you know what? God damn it. Whoever's the tape guy at Ford, I mean, we're going to have to have a talk with him because I found this shit everywhere. He's just like, it's good. It's good. It's stay. It's stay. Then I find it all in my interior. The guy's lazy. These are the back two bolts. One there. One there. And what you're gonna wanna do is tilt, tilt your race car seat forward and send her all the way back. She's making her final descent before landing into race car territory. Once your passenger seat comes out, you're officially certified as a NASCAR driver. And under here, you gotta reach down. I gotta put the camera, you guys can't see. It's darker than sin. But there's a little clip under there. Gotta pop that out, then I'm gonna have to scoop this thing out. Like I'm scooping a baby. So we're gonna see if I blow my back out. Probably L5 and L6 gonna go on this one. She is out, and look what freaking Ford left. Looks like a piece of jeans. Some more freaking tape, this tape guy again, I swear to God. Look, look at this tape, how they put it. Wow, that was hard to come off. It might as well not even count as tape. The guy's probably like hung over his shit, putting the tape on everything. But, we gotta vacuum it, clean it out. She's out, not too hard. One, two, three, four bolts, super simple. Was able to use an impact for the back ones. Wasn't able to use it for the front. Had to use a ratchet. But she's out. Everything is out. We're about to jump on the scale. Weigh it again. I'm going to weigh myself just to make sure. And then I'm going to re-jump on the scale while I'm holding the seat. Came out relatively easy. Not bad. It didn't feel as heavy as I thought. I really don't think it's in the 60 pound range. I'm not sure. But only one way to find out. I'm 217 pounds. With this seat, it was 270 right on the dot. That comes to a solid 53 pounds, so not 60, not 65, not 70. Premium 2020 GT seat, wasn't as heavy as I thought, 53 pounds on the dot, so there it is. And I'm gonna factor in the rear seat delete. I'm just gonna say comfortably, a solid 30 pounds between the two rear seats and the seat belts, like I cut everything out. No seat belts, none of that whole metal thick bracket that like winds all the seat belt up, that's gone too, so. Rear seat delete, I'm gonna say a solid 30 pounds, plus this seat, we're gonna add everything up and get a grand total of everything that I've taken out of the car so far. So we're gonna see if it's really worth it when we go to the track. Track day is Friday, we're gonna see what number we can get out of the car. Hopefully, I wanna say mid 10s, anything better, I'll be super happy, but I don't know, I like to shoot, I like to aim high, but if I miss, it's whatever. We're gonna just have to buy a converter and spray the house out. So this is the full breakdown. Ignore my handwriting. I have handwriting of a two-year-old. So the amount of weight we saved, if you don't want to count the wheels, I mean, that is just, I was just considering that full race mode with my car. It'd be a total of 117 pounds with the wheels included. Without the wheels, it is a almost 100 pounds total, 93 on the dot. So the seat alone is 53. If you took out the driver's seat and put a Kirky seat, let's just say a solid 75 to 80. Let's just say 80 because, you know, the Kirker seat adds with the bracket and the seat and probably with the harness. You could probably say another solid 20 pounds all the way around. Speaker was 10 and the rear seat delete was right around 30, I would say, because it was a lot of stuff. Both leather seats with the back, the brackets and the stuff to wind the seat belts up and I cut everything out. So I would, I would, I'm, I feel like I'm lowballing it with 30 pounds, but that's just pretty much what you'll save by taking out most of the stuff of your S550. And granted, this car still is a premium show you guys everything else I still have left. Full dash, center console, rear seat delete. These, 
really don't weigh much. They're like, you can't sit on them. The only thing that's holding it up is two like triangle plastic or kind of like L 90 degree L um, plastic piece on each end. And then they're just tabbed in by more plastic. So these super fragile, you guys can hear they are hollow straight through. So it's not much. And up at the top, you would know if the seatbelt stuff were still in there because I wouldn't have cut it or this would be cut, there would be a cut right there. So I took that out and cut the seatbelt, ripped it all out, unbolted it. So that saved a good bit of weight right there. The real question is, is it gonna be worth it when we go to the track? I know there is some more stuff I could take off, some plastic trim underneath the hood. I don't wanna go to that extent of taking all that stuff off, but I just figured why not make a small video because I've never gotten an actual number from someone. I've heard 60 pounds for the seat, I've heard 70, I heard 75. I don't know if they changed over the years, but this one, no joke, was 53 pounds on the dot. So both seats alone are 106 pounds. And like I said, if you add a Kirky seat, let's just say it took out a solid 80 pounds. 100 pounds is usually equivalent to 1 tenth. So if you run a 1050 and you did the seats, you might run a 1040. So I don't know. We're going to see what the car does. Track day is this Friday. So stay tuned. I'll be posting videos. I wanna hopefully, I'm gonna try to line up a lot of races before I go to the track. So I'm gonna try to get some people to go, preferably boosted cars or another all motor coyote just to see where my car stands versus another all motor coyote because I haven't got beat by another all motor coyote. Um, I raced another gen three, but it was a stick shift car that was, it kind of was on a sketch road, but I did pull on them on the big end. That is going to be a wrap today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've always wanted to take the interior stuff out of my car, not to the most extent of where it looks ugly and it gets to the point of being race car. The next car I buy, if I get another gen three Mustang, we will go full, full, full race car with that one. I can assure you that because that one's going to be a base. That one is going to be stripped. So, I mean, not many people are going to care, but for me, ripping apart a premium, a lot of you guys would probably care. So we're not going to go to the extent with this one. I like this car because I want to be able to drive it to here to California if I had to. So that is as far as we're going to get with this car. Interior wise, maybe I'm going to put a back half cage just because I like wearing the harnesses better when I race. If I do a road course event, drag racing, I just, I don't know, the regular seatbelt always digs into my neck, drives me crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I, I like the Fox. I have the harnesses in the Fox. Super easy. Just clip the bottom. You're in it. Hopefully at the track, we get to race some fast cars. I prefer everything to be boosted just to see where this car stands. That is the whole point. I'm doing the things I do. I want to show you guys. Most of you guys, I mean, I know a lot of you guys hit me up at the track. Uh, message me, talk to me, or like, I don't have the time to do the things you do. And I love to see the things you're doing because I like to see where my car could stand if I took the steps that you're doing. So... I appreciate all the feedback, guys. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to keep running this car hard as shit. I can promise you that. More races to come. We're going to see what the car runs. This is the first time the car on a true, true drag strip. I pray to baby Jesus we get a good number out of it. It's all motor, premium car still. I would like to get the car on a true scale to see where she weighs in at. But tell the track, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.